the power, the speed, the efficiency. What is going on, guys? It is your boy Jimmy back at it again with episode number three. And boy, oh boy, do we have a lot to discuss. As we're all aware, it's official. Xbox Series S has been revealed. You know, it was the worst kept secret ever. And finally, we now know the price of the Xbox Series X in the Xbox Series S. Yes, an amazing, amazing, amazing price of $299 for the Xbox Series S and $499 for the Xbox Series X. Yeah, now I had a whole other video I was making, you know what I mean, when this is all coming about, when everything was, you know, leaked, and your boy got a J-O-B, so I had to, you know, scratch some stuff out, start anew the next day. Regardless, this is great news. I'm very, 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 very happy. Twitter was lit. Reading all the salty ass pony comments. Reading out everybody, you know, that's on our team, on our size comments. It was all great. And shout out to Microsoft for handling it the way they did. Very professional, very in your face, you know, very fuck you, Sony. I loved it. And here's a public service announcement. The Xbox Series S will not hold back the Xbox Series X. I repeat, the Xbox Series S will not hold back the Xbox Series X. Swear y'all get on Twitter just to say dumb stuff. The CPU is the same. The GPU is the same, just with less teraflops. The same DirectX 12 Ultimate features. All of it's there. And let me uh, address the GPUs, the uh, 3080, the 3090, 3070. Yeah, you know, congratulations, you know, NVIDIA did it again. They made the more powerful, capable, next-gen hardware for gaming. I mean, what's new about that? The PC has always been more powerful than consoles. And then you had Linus completely ignore Microsoft's contribution to the GPU via direct storage. Just because he got shit on by the ponies a few months back. It's ridiculous. How do you have the most powerful console and powering the most powerful GPUs and still be considered irrelevant? It's crazy. Here you have Sony telling people their games are coming to PC, but our console doesn't matter because our games are day one. And you can save all of that, well the games are coming out three years later, it doesn't matter because Sony has already had a taste of a broader audience. Yes, Sony and Microsoft have stockholders and they like a quarterly increase. So yeah, you can miss me with all that BS and all that PR cleanup they did while they was telling people the games are coming to PC. Yeah, I know I'm late, but I do want to address some of the stuff that happened in the last few weeks with the uh, most wanted console award debacle and of course Call of Duty being 4K 120 frames per second on a PS5. Why the fuck you lying? Why, Why you always lying? Why? Oh my god. Stop fucking lying. <laughs> Y'all know Sony be lying, man. Come on now. I got receipts. I don't need to make none of this up. Y'all know I come with it. I do this. Kill zone on the PS3. Pre-rendered lies. Kill zone on the PS4. 1080 60 FPS multiplayer. Lies. Watchdog. And I love this game. Can't wait to play it on Xbox Series S enhanced. Sony claimed 1080 60 before released and what happened? 30 FPS for both consoles. More lies. Confirmed here by Digital Foundry. Of course, as usual, Xbox came out on top. So let's get real. Call of Duty 4K. 120 FPS on variable clocks boosted it's just as ridiculous as insomniac claiming that they have a 4k 60 FPS spider-man Miles Morales when our standard is 4k 30 given the fact that ratchet and clank is 4k 30 with a 1440 or 1080 60 FPS performance mode and look at that downgrade Jesus it's all just stacking up to be a bunch of just lie after lie after lie and I'm just wondering how long can the ponies take all these lies? How long can they deflect? I mean the consoles is right around the corner. The truth will be revealed and I'm very confident that this will be debunked. And as far as IGN, Gamescom, Most Wanted Console Award, we don't care about that. Y'all can have that. 
It's not our fault Sony don't got they shit together Don't have a console to show in real life They still gave y'all bone They gave y'all cyberpunk A game that's not out yet A game endorsed by Microsoft IGN is a joke I blocked them clowns on Twitter I don't need that type of negativity in my life They might as well change the site to Pony.com And with that, I'm wrapping it up Thank you guys for tuning in I'm trying to get this right I'm trying to do it by a week I do have a job, but I'm going to figure it out Thankfully, Xbox finally pushed the button, finally got the ball rolling, you know, it's, it's coming down to that time, you know. Hopefully, Sony bites the bullet, you know, reveals at least the discless version price. Stop wasting people's time with them trash specs. <laughs> Again, thanks for tuning in. Tell your brother, tell your friend, like and subscribe. This is Jimmy, logging out. Peace.